telling us that it's a place that we don't want to go. T telling us that there is a gulf that's fixed there. Preach, brother. So we just want to come out here j just a few minutes and hopefully not catch a cold or something like that. To uh, just tell you, tell you guys about the love of Christ. To tell you that He He does love us. That 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 is a given. He has unconditional love. But guys, hear me this evening. He does not have unconditional acceptance. Because there is a day that we will stand before Him. And we will give an account. I know that, that you can do whatever that you want to do. We are free will agents. We are actually sovereign people. That we can do what we want. But when that day comes, if we have an appointment, just like a few minutes ago, the, the gentleman was like, well, when is my appointment? Tell me when my appointment is. I want to know when my appointment is. Well, God's got it in his calendar. And you can't get rid of that. I mean, that, that that's something that, that we are going to face. And we just want to ask you, are you ready? Are you, are you ready for that great day? Are you ready? Are, are, you, are, are you ready when, when, that, when that time comes? Preacher, brother. When your appointment date comes, will you go to a place that's called heaven or a place that's called hell? And there's a real quick test that you can take to, to actually be sure. Have you ever told a lie? Of course, most people say yes. Most of them, if they say no, they're lying. <laughs> you know, have, have, you ever, have you ever stolen? Then if, you, if you're stolen, then that makes you a thief. That don't sound like a good person, does it? If you've ever, if you've ever looked with lust, the Bible says that you've committed adultery already in your heart. And so that's lying, that's a thief, that's an adulterer at heart. And so, on the day of judgment, when you stand before God, He'll judge you according to that, to His standard, not, not our standards, but His standard. He will judge you according to His standard. And your only, only concern will be, will He find me innocent or guilty? And the Bible says, for all have sinned, in other words, everybody is guilty before God and come short of His glory. So that, that's the problem. He'll, he'll judge you and what you get will be an eternity in hell. That's what you will get. But see, the good news of the gospel is the fact that The uh, good news of the gospel is, is the fact that, that he that he came and he took upon himself our judgment. He took our sins. He took our transgressions. And he he died on that cross two thousand years ago in our place, in our stead, in 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 in, in, in our our condition. that we can have everlasting life, that we can put our trust and we can put our faith in Him. And the Bible says that when you repent and you, and you, and you trust in Him and you put your faith and trust in His work that He did, then He said you will have eternal life. Well, let me put it like this, the good eternal life. You'll have eternal life one way or the other, either, either in heaven or hell. And, 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 and the thing is that it, it is our choice when He convicts us and He draws us, guys, it is our choice. We can choose to live for God. We can choose to repent of our sins. We can choose to walk in His love and not fail the grace of God. So I, I, pray, I pray today that y'all will see our hearts and that you will see that we come out here to preach, not 
to condemn anybody, make anybody feel bad. No. But we come out here for the for the purpose of, of, of preaching the good news of, of, of Jesus Christ. That you can be changed, that you can be set free, that he will break that curse of sin on your life. God can do that. Father, I pray right now. Oh, God, touch everybody out here, Father, within the sound of my voice. I pray, God, mighty God, I pray that you'll just touch every, everybody out here that's listening. Draw them to the altar of repentance, I pray. Bless them with repentance, I pray tonight. Everybody out here, Father God, I, I pray that you'll, just, that you'll just touch them, Father, with a great touch tonight. Allow them to feel your love and to know that we're demonstrating your love by being out here preaching. We pray this in Jesus' name, Father, and just, and just, just as as the night as the night goes on, Father God, I pray that you'll just draw them, deal with them in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you guys.